Hey Virgo, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we are delving into whatever comes out, okay? So we'll take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. It can also play out past, present, and future. Any and everything that has to do with myself and the channel will be down below in the description box. I want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support of any kind to the brand and the channel is always appreciated, okay? Okay, um, Virgo, right off the bat, I really feel like you're being extra as a matter of fact-ish about something, okay? Um, happy birthday, first off. Um, second off, I feel like you want something to be a certain way, like you're critiquing something, okay? Um, bleach could be significant, okay? Uh, somebody here has the bleach smell like stuck in their nose. Smash the like button if that's you. Overall energy here is healing. Virgo, you could be really focusing on healing, okay? Um, trigger warning, I don't want anybody uh, taking large amounts of cough syrup, okay? Be mindful of that. Uh, and the next 48 hours, I want to say I'm getting the next 48 hour energy here. Okay. You could be needing to take some type of spiritual bath or putting on some type of stress-free aromatherapy, body wash could be bath and body works if that's significant for you. Um, but I do see heavy emphasis on healing here and I see you doing something very therapeutic for yourself. Uh, a lot of patience here. I really feel like you're trying to slow down in your life, okay? Um, you're seeing the significance of slowing down, and you're starting to put more focus on self, and it's a process, you know, of course, but I see you being patient with that, and it's starting to show itself in your life. I feel like you're healing yourself, Virgo, okay? Um, intuition. You're following your intuition, okay? That's like the hidden step here. It's really causing you to center yourself, okay? Centering, to me, is like grounding in a way. Way, but it's kind of mixed with mindfulness, you know, um, when you're centering, it's like you're really placing yourself um, balanced in a way, but you're the focal point, if that makes sense. OK, a lot of things, you know, you just got to do your own research. OK, um, when others are telling you things, you know, it's like from their understanding. So whatever I tell you, Virgo, is from my understanding. I feel like that's what's going on with you. Like you have your reasons for the way that you do certain things. Even if it is critiquing, you do mean well. I mean, that's what you have to offer, okay? You wouldn't critique it if you didn't know about it, okay? And I really feel like there are aspects of yourself that are needed to be healed because people have misunderstood you possibly, okay? So right off the bat, we have the King of Wands energy. Now, I'm curious to know if that's you or not, okay? Um, hmm. Five of Cups. Yeah, this is you. Damn. So, look, Virgo, you may need to center yourself because for some of you all, I mean, damn. Look, smash that like button if you've been horny, then a motherfucker. Because I see that, okay? I'm honest. You be honest when you're here as well so I can know that I'm doing my job right, okay? So, smash that like button if that's you. But at the same time, it's like you have some type of longing for someone, but it's like your passions are misplaced, you know, it's like you can have passions for someone. Virgo, I'm going to be honest. I'm getting that your heart is broken. Smash the like button if that's you, okay? I feel like you're like healing yourself. You're having patience with yourself because you're needing to heal from some type of heartbreak, some type of separation that you're going through. And I see you like really um, leaning into this more. Although it hurts, I see you really leaning into it more. Yeah, there's that seven of swords energy. Damn, so Virgo, you still dealing with this person. It's like you still talk to them, you know. Um, know that the will will continue to turn in your favor, you know. But at the same time, it's like you're doing a lot better than what you are, than what you're letting this person know, okay. This could potentially be the person that broke your heart, okay. But I see you still like dealing with them. You're kind of like around them, but you necessarily couldn't be sleeping with this person possibly. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups here, I feel like this person is still um open to you okay uh there is a cordial energy like if the two of you all have children together i see like a sexual attraction that you have towards this person but at the same time it's just you know um at the same time if that doesn't resonate the second half that i have here is that you're actually dealing with someone else virgo and um, you want this person to have patience with you as you begin to heal yourself from the past person and what i'm really seeing here it's like 
you still like around the past person that broke your heart, but you're not telling them what you got going on here. Okay. You're not telling them how you have frustration, sexual frustrations, and then you didn't want to foul somebody, you know? And I feel like it's going decent with you and a new person, you know, but at the same time, you're still healing. Okay. You're following your intuition and it's leading you places. Yeah. With a standing stone here, this is that, um, justice card, you know, and the thing about it is, is, um, obtaining balance. I feel like this is your good karma that comes in as another person. Okay. Yeah. With the 10 of cups, you're going to have a family with this person or just like a loving connection with them. Like they're going to fulfill your cup because look, here you are sexually frustrated, right? And you're pouring that cup out. It's like, you're pouring the last cup out the two of cups that you thought you had, you know, with this past person, you're pouring a cup out, but then there's three cups right there. You do have someone else there, Virgo. You ain't got to lie. You ain't got to lie, Craig. Let me get one more. And then we'll clarify. Mm -hmm. Two of Swords. There is an energy here of blocking someone out. Uh, for some of you all, Virgo, you could be getting a divorce. Oh, with the Lord of Shadows. This is the devil card, but I do see transformation here. No, this is the death card. Sorry, this is a new deck. Uh, and the nine of wands, damn. So you you still kind of see this past person. You deal with them. Some of you all is like you work with them. Others of you all is like you have a relationship with like a past relationship or you just had like children with them or something. Like it's some type of attachment. But I see you like got this sneaky energy where you're not really letting them know all what you have going on. And you do have another situation going on. But at the same time, it's a process, isn't it? Maybe you had a long connection with this past person and you need to recover, right? With the seven of wands here. Wow. It's like you're finally speaking up for yourself, Virgo. You're finally like, you know what? I could kind of stand up for myself a little bit more with the Knight of Cups. Okay. I need answers, Spirit, please, and thank you. Why the Knight of Cups and Seven of Wands? The Lord of Shadows comes out again. This is that death card, but that transformative energy. Damn, it's like you want to go back to this person, Virgo. Smash that like button if it's really like hard for you to let go of the past person although y'all not sleeping together no more you're not really dealing with them but i see you like you it's hard for you to let go like it's it's easier for you to just deal with somebody else and still kind of talk to this person or something you know how it is when you've been dealing with somebody for so long it's just like you know it's hard with the page of pentacles look i see you gathering the strength up still creating more things like you you and the new person have a good relationship okay smash and like button if you're dealing with this new person and you have a good relationship with them okay this person is likable they're balanced emotionally um there's an intuitive quality to them they're always open to you though there's an energy of them always being open damn but with the eight of wands in reverse what is this about I see you having patience, Virgo. It's like maybe for a lot of you all, you haven't reached to this moment yet. But starting off small is going to be very beneficial for you, okay? Right now, it's like you can't see to the end of the tunnel. You don't see the light yet, you know? But part of you all, it's like you're, you're leaning into your passions, okay? And you feel something with this new person and you, you, you're, it's like you're recovering. You're recovering back to yourself. You know, when you've been with someone for so long, it's like they have a part of you. And I feel like you're gaining that aspect of yourself back again, Virgo, okay? Smash that like button if that's you. Yeah, with the battle wagon here, this is that chariot energy, okay? I see you persevering forward. Okay, don't even trip, Virgo, okay? Yeah, with the four cups, though, it is an energy of you not really. It's like, eh. You know, you have like some type of growing pains, but then there is that energy again, that ace of cups that's going to come in for you. As you move forward, it's like you're not going to like how you move forward, but in the end, you do move forward. Damn, to a two of cups. You move forward to a two of cups, Virgo, in the end, you will have what it is that you want. Yeah, with the nine of cups. I can't make it up. I wouldn't have you come here and see a reading for Virgo and it's a lie, right? That's why you're here. 
with the six of swords here, I see you balancing out that that mental blockage that you have, okay? Moving away from something that was really heavy for you and that was on your mind, body, and soul, okay? But I feel like it's getting you to where you need to be, okay? It's like a spiritual evolution. See, we even have the emperor here. The sheer fact with the six of swords here that you're having that mental clarity and you're able to think clearly, Virgo, look where it leads you to the emperor energy, all right? To the op the ultimate masculine energy that we're talking about in tarot, okay? This is saying that you have bossed up and anything that you basically touch turns into gold. It's like that entrepreneurship energy, right? You could be an entrepreneur. You could be going over into that type of field of work as well. I see an aspect of you that is very um, nurturing and can provide, but then a free spirit as well. Yeah, ooh, with a high priest. This is that hierophant energy. Virgo, you pass a spiritual test. Spirit is saying that this is the truth. So you finally see in the end of all this, Virgo, what will be revealed to you is like why all this had to happen. And the only reason why something like that would be revealed to you is that you've passed the test. So now you have the knowledge to understand why something had to take place. Moving forward for Virgo, what can I tell them, Spirit, please? And thank you to wrap this read up. Gossip dims your glow. So Virgo, don't be out here gossiping about what's going on, who did you wrong, this, that, and the next. Because that's going to dim your glow, your inner light that's within you. What else, Spirit? Why gossip dims your glow for Virgo? Please and thank you. Because it's time to rise. I can't make it up, Virgo. Spirit says it's time to rise. Let those lower vibrations go, okay? So that you can step into this level of abundance that you have ushered in in this masculine energy. Now, you could be a male or a female, okay? But this is that yang energy. We, we all have masculine and feminine within us, okay? It's duality, all right? Spirit says there's something bigger on the way. That's why. Sunsets or sun at the horizon or sunrises could be very significant for you, Virgo. Uh, maybe that could be something that can bring you peace um, and give you like that meditative quality if you want to like meditate, you know? Um, use that as a source of meditation. You know how sometimes when a sun just rise, if you really just catch that, it's dope as fuck, okay? And it's it's like an energy you can pull on. It's like a refresh real quick. It's like nature, the beauty of nature. And it brings you closer to the divine. It brings you closer to the present moment, okay? So know that there is something better for you, Virgo, and I see you on the verge of that. Allow yourself to have this, okay? Know that it's for you. And most of all, unplug. Do something for yourself where you can unwind, Virgo, and continue to heal. Have patience with yourself because a new day is coming. I can't make it up. Messages from spirit, right? So if this message resonated with you, Smash that like button, Virgo. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. I want to thank you for your love and support as always. Until then, peace and love.